I have a molecular model that uh, I want to print uh, using the multicolor mode. Uh, now, one of the things about this model is I've actually cut it into uh, segments. A problem I run into is, well, I want to have one side purple, one side black. Uh, but when you look at the slicer, well, it has 40 filament changes. Why is it doing that? Uh, I literally should transition from purple to black, and that should be it. Well, internally, it's it's got this fill that it is uh, putting in a different filament color. Uh, now, I, I've gone through this multiple times uh, to try and fix it. Now, uh, you the, the most obvious thing, well, I've got 40 uh, color changes, uh, so I should go uh, and uh, modify uh, the... Uh, color that you can uh, that can you can choose. Uh, you'll see this will not work. So I've got uh, color by layer and I'll go ahead and go through that. So I take the color by layer, go through purple. Uh, next I'll, I'll even take the sphere uh, and try and use that. Uh, where this is going, as the title of the video says, is using a modifier. So you're going to see that despite my best efforts of trying to tell the slicer I want this area to be purple and nothing else, it's going to ignore me. It's, it's going to do what it wants. Uh, if I switch colors, it, uh, uh, it would still give me the same result of uh, not giving me a solid color, giving me uh, uh, a different type of infill except in the upper area of the black. So now I'm going to go ahead and slice it again, and you'll see... Uh, no change. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So again, 40 filament changes. And where it should simply be purple, it's putting in the other filament as well, as, and it's just part of the infill. Uh, after going back and forth and fighting with this, what I realized was uh, this is where you need the modifiers, where you can explicitly take a region of your model and, and as, it, as it says, modify it. So I go add modifier. In my case, it's going to be a, a disk. That's just telling me about where to look at it. And now I'm just going to size it and then position it. Okay, so now once I've got something large enough, I'm going to move it into place. Uh, another thing, uh, really not that important for this one, but what I'm going to do is uh, uh, center both uh, parts uh, just to get them lined up a little bit better. Yeah, but it really won't make any difference. Okay. So I've got my modifier, but I haven't given it any instructions. So now what I'm going to do is move over to the modifier and simply select the purple filament. Now you can see there's no visual cue that tells me anything has changed. Uh, so now I'm going to slice. And there it is. So now we only have the two filament changes. So we go from purple to black uh, just as I want and problem solved. Uh, but this can be incredibly frustrating because the software has its own internal logic of how it does infill. And if you have a multicolor print, and uh, especially in my case because I, I've made cuts and I have dowel rod inserts, it's trying to uh, change the uh, filament uh, for that based on its own internal logic. And no matter what I try in the plugin for coloration, it will not uh, do that. But with the modifier, problem solved. So uh, that's something very important if you're doing uh, multicolor prints and you're doing something like uh, having an assembly where you cut it into smaller segments. Again, so using that modifier. Hope this helps.